Why even take online courses when you can learn Python for free or any coding language for free? How? Well, ChatGPT. For those of you who haven't ever heard about ChatGPT, you're probably living under a rock. ChatGPT has taken over the internet. There are hundreds of articles, video content. Since its launch, it has gone viral. It was able to get 1 million users within five days. ChatGPT is a natural language processing tool that allows users to talk to it naturally. Think of it like you're talking to another human. It's basically you're talking to the internet, but you're getting responses in a very natural fashion, like as if you are talking to another person on the other side who knows a lot. You can go to this website to sign up for ChatGPT. A lot of people have been using it for their own different use cases. People have been using it to write resume, to write a cover letter, to write kids books. I personally have been using it as a tutor to learn things fast. It includes learning new things such as Python, machine learning, statistics. I've also been using it for writing emails and of course finding mistakes in my code and in my text. In this video, I'm specifically going to talk about how you can use ChatGPT for learning any coding languages. In this video, I'm specifically going to be focusing on Python with the lens of data science and data analysis. I have already written specific prompts that I'm gonna be asking ChatGPT to teach me Python. We know that we're working with AI and I also wanna make it, um, I wanna validate this and I wanna make sure that I am actually, whatever is telling me is actually the right set of roadmap and skills that I need to learn. So what I'm gonna do is I found this introduction to Python guide, which basically focuses on learning Python for data analysis and it focuses on, li on libraries such as NumPy, Pandas. This guide is created by HubSpot who is also sponsoring today's video. And I'm actually going to use this as a resource to make sure that whatever ChatGPT is telling me is aligned with what a human has written uh, in an introduction to Python for data analysis guide. It's available for free and I'm gonna link it in the description below, so feel free to download it. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I use ChatGPT for learning Python, is I'm gonna make it define a roadmap for me. I want to learn Python or data analysis. Okay, so I asked it, I want to learn Python, give me a roadmap. So it has started writing out the roadmap for me. I'm gonna wait for it to finish. So basically I asked it, I wanna learn Python for data analysis, can you give me a roadmap? So basically it gave me a seven step, very generic roadmap, which is probably not as helpful. So I wanted to make it more specific. So I'm gonna ask it more specific prompts so it can give me better answers. And that's one thing that I think a lot of people don't know how to do. People don't know how to ask smart questions to get a smart answer. That's that's why a lot of people are not able to use it. But I'm gonna, in this video, we're going to do exactly that, how to make our questions smarter. Okay, so this was my original question. I want to learn Python data for data analysis. Can you create a roadmap to learn in three months with weekly plan, with weekly plan and resources for learning? I'm gonna run it and let's see what it gives me this time. Okay, now it's actually doing better. It's actually giving me a daily schedule of what I should be learning and what I should be starting with. So it's, it's giving me a weekly plan for to learn Python, but it's still not specific enough. So I'm gonna make it give me more specifics with the resources because I think it's telling me what to learn, but it's not telling me where to learn it. So I want it to give me pretty much everything. Copy paste the original script that I had here. Include resources and link for each week. Okay. Okay, now it's actually doing what I want it to do. It's basically giving me a weekly plan and including the links as well as different resources that I can use for learning Python. So this is what I mean asking smart questions. Asking smart questions takes a little bit of time. That's the re primary reason I wanted to create this video because anybody can go ask questions, but not everybody knows what kind of questions to ask to get the right set of information. I have gotten like a very solid roadmap, like a four week roadmap. I think there's one more thing I can make it do. I can make it include specific YouTube video links. Okay, see now it's giving me <laughs> giving me specific YouTube video links for learning Python. Okay, I love this. This is amazing. It's really, really cool. So this is what I mean that you actually don't need an online course. Don't quote me on it. This tool that is available to you that you can use to learn any coding language. And today we're just focusing on Python. The next thing I would do, like once say, let's say I've defined the curriculum, I'm like following it then um, I'm gonna use it throughout my learning journey to have it teach me. So for example, here you wanna learn to join two data sets. If you're a data analyst and you already know how to work with SQL and you're trying to learn Python, one of the ways that it, I have learned Python to be easier is if you translate your SQL code into Python. I have already have a SQL code that I'm going to ask ChatGPT to turn into Python code. It's actually understood the SQL code and it's now translating into 
Python. And you can do it vice versa. You can take the Python code and turn it into SQL, or you can do it with any other coding languages as well. You can take Java and turn it into C Sharp, or previously, like we could only search on Stack Overflow and see if somebody had asked that question previously. But now we can generate our own questions and ChatGPT can give us answers. And of course, like don't put your work code on ChatGPT because that would not be, your company would not like that, but this is for your personal projects and personal use. All right, let's go back to the intro to Python guide that we downloaded earlier as we're still trying to figure out what methods to learn in Python for data analysis. So let's say if you're reading through it and you are stuck now on while loop, um, you're having a hard time understanding what does a while loop actually do? That's exactly where you would use ChatGPT as your savior, <laughs> your tutor, your savior. So here I'm gonna say, plain while loop to a child. I, there is no shame in it. I have asked it so many questions where I say like, explain p-value to a child, explain gradient descent to a child. Like literally it does a really, really good job. If you read through the responses that it's writing, it actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's go back to the guide again and find another method, this time dictionary. So for example, if I'm stuck on understanding what is dictionary in Python, that's where I would ask ChatGPT, like, can you explain what dictionaries are in Python and can you give me example snippets? You can also make ChatGPT write new code for you, which I think is super, super amazing. So let's say if you understand everything conceptually, now you want to write new code. This is where ChatGPT has been like super, super amazing because sometimes I would come up with these random questions and I'd be like, okay, I need to know how to write Python scripts. Obviously, like if you're learning Python, try to write it yourself, but ChatGPT could be uh, awesome here. Let's say if you write the code on your own and you want to validate it and see if it's correct, then you can use again ChatGPT as your tutor to have it check for you. So let's say uh, today I'm... Um, I need to figure out what to eat. I always get confused. So here I already have a written script where I'm asking write a Python script that tell me what I should eat today with vegetarian options. A few other use cases that you can use it while learning Python is I mentioned previously, you can make it document your code and add comments in your code. You can also ask it to write a test design document, uh, creating control and treatment groups. You can also ask it more specific questions, how to do a t-test in Python, how to do a linear regression in Python. You can also also use it for interview prep. For example, give me a list of medium difficulty Python interview questions for data science role at Amazon. That being said, there are drawbacks to using this tool. It's not always accurate. So you have to be, for example, if you're writing a new code for it, you need to be able to know how to work in that coding language to be able to validate it. And the answers that it gives are somewhat generic and very beginner level. So as you advance in your coding knowledge, this might not be as useful for you, but it's still pretty useful for like basic tasks and basic code snippets. Let me know how you have been using ChatGPT for learning coding languages or other areas in your life. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.